Are you in the market for a new roof? Maybe you're looking for ways to finance your new roofing project. By the end of this video, you'll know the five major ways to finance a new roof. So let's get started. The five major ways that you can finance your roofing project are personal loans, home equity loans, grant programs, veteran programs, as well as insurance claims. So let's talk a little bit more about each of them. Personal financing. Personal financing for most homeowners is when they get a construction loan for their construction project. Most construction loans are going to range from a 7% to a 15% loan amount, interest amount, if you are going to spread out payments over a long period of time. The benefit of most construction loans is that you can get variable types of plans, whether that is a short payment period with a larger amount up front or smaller payments spread over a long period of time. The two market leaders for offering construction loans are Enhancify and Green Sky. And if you're curious, if you would get approved for a loan, then you can click the link in our description. This will take you to our website where you can fill out a little bit of information, get a pre-approval for a construction loan to see what type of programs are available to you. And don't worry, this pre-approval won't ding your credit score if you decide to fill out that form. Home equity loan. You can also get a home equity loan if you're considering financing your roofing project. When you get a home equity loan, you will go to the bank or mortgage company that you currently have your mortgage with. When you have a home equity loan, what you will do is borrow against the equity that you have in your home. You're able to then pull this equity out. Now the benefit of a home equity loan is that you are likely going to pay a lower interest rate than a construction loan. Why are you able to pay a lower rate? The reason why is your home will be collateral in that loan situation, which will allow that bank or mortgage company to offer you a lower interest rate. The downside to a home equity line of credit is that it's normally a, a longer time frame before you're able to get that loan approved. So if you need a loan approved quickly, then that construction loan is the way to go. But if you have time, a home equity line of credit is normally going to be a lower interest rate. In general, the current interest rates in the market are going to be about the interest rate that you can get for your home equity line of credit. Next up, grant programs. Two of the most popular grant programs are SC Safe Home and Fortified grant programs. Now, what these programs are, are incentivized by insurance companies to increase homeowners to increase the wind mitigation potential on their homes. For example, they will provide a grant for a homeowner to improve the quality of the new roof that they install. What this does is reduces the liability to said insurance companies, and it also gives you a better roof system. In these scenarios, you can expect to get between a $3,000 and $7,500 grant, depending on your home. Keep in mind, whenever grants become available, there's a limited time for you to fill out an application because those dollars go quickly. So we do suggest contacting your local contractor right away. And if you live in the Grand Strain area at Lynch Roofing, we're certified installers and inspectors for both fortified roofing programs and safe home roofing programs. So if you're in a market for a new roof and you're considering a grant program, then you can contact us at Lynch Roofing and we can help you through that entire process. Veteran programs. There are also programs available to veterans in need to help them replace their roofs at no cost to them. At Linta Roofing, through Roofs for Troops, our goal is to help a veteran in need each year replace their roof at no cost to them. If that sounds like a good fit for you, then contact local roofing contractors and talk with them about the veteran programs that they may offer. Insurance claims. While we understand that an insurance claim is not a way to finance your roof, we do know that most homeowners that have insurable damage don't realize that there is insurable damage on their roof. So we suggest having a certified contractor come out and inspect your roof to see if there is any insurable damage on your roof system. Because if there is, it's likely that your insurance company will cover the majority of the cost of that roof replacement. So having your roof inspected will be a vital next step before moving forward with a roof replacement. Now that you know the five most common ways to finance a roof replacement, we hope you feel more prepared for your upcoming roofing project. 
If you felt this information was helpful for you, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn about more topics like this and be better prepared for your upcoming roofing project.